I'm here at Spring Creek in Center County, just a short 10 to 15 minute drive away from campus. And this area is actually well known around the country as being one of the best places to fly fish for trout. Nature writer and Pennsylvania native Paul Schulery once said, calling fishing a hobby is like calling brain surgery a job. After spending the afternoon on Spring Creek with Greg Hoover, it's easy to see why. Hoover is an entomologist by training, but is also a fly fishing instructor right here at Penn State University. He's had a love and a passion for the sport for quite a while. Been suffering from a fly fishing problem for over 50 years. He gave me a glimpse into some of the many factors that go into the art and science of fly fishing. One that certainly cannot be overlooked, of course, is the weather. Arguably the most important impact that weather has on fishing is on the temperature of the water. They're active, um, you know, when we get temperatures in the high 40s. I mean, their metas metabolism is slow, but ideally probably between 55 and 65 degrees Fahrenheit would be the ideal thermal conditions. Because trout need a certain amount of dissolved oxygen in the water to survive, once temperatures get above this range, it can be dangerous to the fish. If you're battling a fish, even caught on a fly when the temperatures are approaching 70 degrees, you literally could play that fish to exhaustion and cause death. It also affects the bugs that the trout feast on. Insects are influenced by their external environment. And so aquatic insects are influenced by the temperature of the water. And so they are going to be more active when temperatures are, I'll say, between 50 and probably 70 degrees Fahrenheit. One variable that can have a significant influence on the water temperature and in turn the trout's meal is the amount of sunlight during the day. On sunlit days, um, if it's not too warm because they have an upper threshold where they won't be active, mm -hmm. that sunny days they'll be active, they'll emerge um, maybe a little bit earlier when compared to a cloudy day such as today. But it's not the bright sunny days that gets fly fishermen excited. Uh, a lot of uh, fly fishermen prefer an overcast day where uh, your shadows and some of your terminal tackle don't scare the trout away when you're trying to approach and, and get them to, uh, to take one of the uh, imitations you're fishing. Something else that might surprise you is that sometimes rainy days can yield great results. And uh, Last year I took the president of the fly fishing club and we went down to Penns Creek and it was a moderate rainfall and the first number one news or good news was we didn't have any competition with other <laughs> anglers so to speak it was a bad day i will tell you it was one of the best days i've ever we've enjoyed on penn's creek but the rain can't be too heavy in that it causes the water levels to rise too rapidly but generally speaking we get catastrophic flows storm water runoff and so on causing discoloration uh, turbidity and so on. Most of our trout streams as they're rising really don't fish well. A windy day can also affect an angler's approach. In addition to adjusting their casts, it also affects the type of bugs they should try to imitate. Mm -hmm. I, I call a windy day, uh, you know, a terrestrial day or uh, the morning after a thunderstorm event overnight. Those things get washed off of the vegetation on the edge and literally trout love eating ants and eating caterpillars. But as with most things in life, you can't point to just any one of these factors. It's how they all work together. I don't think we can, in fly fishing for trout, point to one variable. It's a okay. multitude of variables. But one thing you can point to is the fly fishermen's respect for the ecosystem that they fish in. And I think what I appreciate about fly fishing and fly fishermen, they're not just after numbers, uh, they know what it takes to maintain high water quality because if we've got high water quality and it's cold water, we know trout are going to be living there. Well, there you have it. Weather has such a big impact on fly fishing and going for that perfect trout, I figure, hey, while I'm here, I might as well go for that perfect trout as well. I got a fishing pole and well, let's throw a cast in. For whether or not, I'm Brian Sisman.